Let's add some volumes to the profile view. It's quite possibly one of my favorite views. So from the profile view, we have this beautiful structure. We can begin by noticing the oval of the region of the face and how the oval of the cranial mass intersects that. So that's one of the first things you notice. And this really balances over the spine, which has this beautiful undulation coming forward in the cervical vertebrae, moving backwards in the thoracic, coming forward again in the lumbar and backwards again into the coccygeal vertebrae. So there's this serpentine shape to the spine, which is really important to recognize from, especially from the side view. Again, we can show the egg shape of the rib cage here. And we also have the egg shape of the pelvis. And one thing you might notice as you see these volumes being drawn in is that they have a axis. So the rib cage has an axis, something like this. The pelvis has an axis, something like this. And these move upon these more flexible parts of the spine. Circle of the first rib, insertion of the column of the neck into this region. Now, what's quite visible often on the from the side view, you can't necessarily see the sternum, but you can see a flatness to this region. It curves in, and of course, also from the side view, the region of the navel isn't quite visible. So you often see this shape, it kind of comes in, belly comes in, and then in the region of the navel, it sort of pooches out again. And then I like to think of drawing all the way through back to the buttocks, almost as if you're drawing through the leg. And what's also beautiful from the side view is there's this echo between the sacral area and the lower belly. So these two sort of echo each other on an angle. And coming back up to the upper area here, you can add in the shape of the shoulder. You can again think about how the pectoralis region might come into that and allow yourself to bring in the upper arm area, the lower arm area, the region of the hand, and the elbow region often sort of talks to the lower back. That's sort of where it ends up in terms of proportion from the side. And then you can begin to add in the, I like to sort of start up towards the hip point and add in the volume of the quadricep here. Maybe there's a little bit more fullness to the buttock, depends on the body. And then the fullness of the calf there might be a little bit of a sense of an angle to the knee coming down to the lower leg and into the foot. And again, noticing how these feet might place themselves on either side of this proportion line at the bottom. And what's really beautiful from the side view also is this, again, this sort of idea that you could have a, almost a serpentine connection from the hip point over the front of the thigh, through the knee, and down to the heel. And you could even extend this idea up into the spine. So finding places where you could fluidly move from high to low is something that's, I think, really available uh, from the profile view.